Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and I'm here to review John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum. Long title, probably should have just been John Wick Chapter 3, but whatever. It's significant, I guess, having that extra subtitle, but I was so excited for this film. This was one of my top three most anticipated films of 2019. Endgame did not disappoint. Star Wars is still to come. This movie blew me away. And honestly, I really believe this is the best of the bunch so far of the John Wick films and one of the best action movies, honestly, I have ever seen. My god, this movie. And I wrote a review for this for Sif Pop, so once that comes out, you should totally check that out and also check out Sif Pop in general. It's fun being a contributor to the website. But my review starts with really... If you couldn't tell by watching my videos where I talk about action, I'm very, very picky about action, and I'm kind of an action film snob at this point, where it's just like, I need something truly well made, I'm not gonna settle for BS 16 frickin' frames in like t two seconds, somebody trying to hop over a fence taking three. What I really want is amazing action, t Chad Stahelowski oh my god, you are one of the greatest action movie directors ever. Ever. Because this film blows you away in terms of the action. The set pieces are amazing. The choreography is impeccable. The stunt work, impeccable. There's a stretch at the beginning 20 minutes of this film that is one of the most exhilarating pieces of filmmaking I've ever seen. And the action doesn't disappoint the rest of the film either. Action's amazing, it's realistic, but still ridiculous and so much fun and really gets you engaged, there's stakes, people get messed up, and whether it's having knife fights uh, or riding on motorcycles on a bridge, fighting with katanas, or John Wick shooting people riding a horse, or attacking people with dogs, all kinds of stuff, and this most epic conclusion and set piece at the end of this film. This film, oh, Derek Kolstad, who's been the one who's made these films, crafts such an interesting world and there's so much world building even in this one on top of the last one, on top of the first one, and it keeps getting even more interesting. And so many different layers to this society, layers to John Wick and his background and understanding where he comes from. There are a couple points where I'm just like, eh, it's a little too far. And honestly, that's really the long and the short of, like, my... The things that I didn't really like about this film was, like, one particular place where it's, like, this, this underworld gets, like, okay, that's ridiculous. It gets a little too far. But this film is filled with so many amazing characters with snappy, darkly funny dialogue. The humor in this is pitch black and on point, but along with John Wick, Sophia, Halle Berry's character, one of her best performances, honestly, she brings it, and the physicality she brings, like, on par with Keanu Reeves, and Keanu Reeves has proven that he's one of the greatest action movie stars ever, and he really brings the physicality and that physical acting to these films, and then everybody else, Ian McShane, Lawrence Fishburne, fantastic, hilarious, they deliver their lines so well. Lance Reddick actually really gets a lot more to do in this film as Charon, the, um, one of the guys at the Continental. And then Mark Dacascos, who's introduced as Zero, who's kind of the hands-on villain to fight John Wick in this movie, he's fun. He's an interesting character. And he has this relationship with John Wick that adds layers. And then Asia Kate Dillon, who's the adjudicator, who, by the end of this film, you just want to be like, I want you to die. But she really works well in this film. Everything works so well in this film. The story goes to such interesting places. Angelica used it, of all people, popping up in this. And the layers to this story and the themes of consequences. This is a deep film, and it really captures what that means to have consequences to your actions. And Dan... Lawson, the cinematographer, who did an amazing job with the second film, does an even more amazing job with this film. 
nomination for The Shape of Water, he should be nominated for this film for Best Cinematography at the Oscars next year. And if he doesn't, I'm going to be pissed. Tyler Bates, great job in terms of creating music that fits this atmosphere, fits the story. Everything is firing on all cylinders in this film. The action is unbelievable. This film will blow you away. If you're into action, if you don't see this, what's, what's going on? Go out and go see this. Love this film. It has a little bit of everybody. If you can't handle gore and just straight up nonstop action, obviously this isn't for you. If you watch the John Wick trailer and think, this is not for me, this movie's probably not for you. But if you watch that trailer and like, this seems like the coolest thing ever, it is. John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum, one of my top films of the year so far, top three at this moment. Absolutely love this film. Can't recommend it any higher. Go check out my review on Sift Pop as well, and comment. Let me know what you think, and thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.